Coalition for Reform and Reconstruction offers a draft law of the Fund for the Revenues of Citizens of Oil Release Date. 2019-3-26-1642, 151 times scheduled. Baghdad, al Ret News, announced the Alliance of Reform and Reconstruction, on Tuesday, the submission of the draft law of the Fund of the Revenues of Citizens of Oil. The head of the coalition Sabah al Saudi at a joint press conference followed by the agency, Euphrates News. The deputies from various political blocs submitted to the House of Representatives the proposed law of the Fund of Revenues of Citizens of Oil, which is 10% for every citizen through a fund in the Ministry of Finance. Noting that the money of oil and wealth belonged to the Iraqi people according to the Constitution and most of the money went wasteful to mismanagement. He added that there is approval of the law of 111 deputies and all segments of the Iraqi people and all the parliamentary blocs indicating that there is unanimity of various political blocs on the draft law and will accept the council's acceptance of the fairness of the Iraqi people. He pointed out that Iraq has the wealth and wealth, but the mismanagement is the one that lost the money and must return the rights of the citizen. Urgent 37 officials arrested in Mosul over corruption charges. Baghdad, al Ret News revealed a local source familiar with the arrest of 37 officials in Mosul against the background of corruption files. The source told the correspondent of the agency, Euphrates News, that the Integrity Commission announced the arrest of 37 officials in Mosul against the background of files of corruption. It is noteworthy that the tragedy of Mosul, which claimed the lives of more than 120 people, mostly women and children revealed the extent of corruption in the city. The latest statistics on the victims of the sinking of the ferry in the city of Mosul, indicating the arrival of the number to 120 Geha, mostly children and women. Official statistics recorded the loss and missing 98 people. The Supreme Judicial Council decided to form a special investigative body to investigate the sinking of the ferry in the Tigris River in Nineveh province. For his part, voted the House of Representatives last Sunday unanimously to dismiss the governor of Nineveh Nafal al aqab of his post and his deputies. United States disrupts large-scale front company network transferring hundreds of millions of dollars and euros to the IRGC and Iran's Ministry of Defense. March 26, 2019. Washington, today, the U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control, OFIC, took action against 25 individuals and entities, including a network of Iran, UAE, and Turkey-based front companies that have transferred over a billion dollars and euros to the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, and Iran's Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics, MODAFL, in addition to procuring millions of dollars worth of vehicles for MODAFL. Today's action exposes an extensive sanctions evasion network established by the Iranian regime which it increasingly relies on as the United States' maximum pressure campaign severely constricts the regime's sources of revenue. OFIC also designated Iran's MODAFL pursuant to Executive Order, EO, 13224 for its role in assisting the IRGC, CODS Force, IRGCQF, as well as an Iran-based bank for providing banking services to the IRGCQF. We are targeting a vast network of front companies and individuals located in Iran, Turkey and the UAE to disrupt a scheme the Iranian regime has used to illicitly move more than a billion dollars in funds," said Treasury Secretary Stephen T. Mnuchin the IRGC, MODAFL, and other malign actors in Iran continue to exploit the international financial system to evade sanctions, while the regime funds terrorism and other destabilizing activities across the region. Central to this network and sanctioned today pursuant to our counterterrorism authority is Iran's IRGC-controlled Answer Bank and its currency exchange arm, Answer Exchange, both of which use layers of intermediary entities to exchange devalued Iranian real ultimately for dollars and euros to line the pockets of the IRGC and MODAFL. This vast network is just the latest example of the Iranian regime's use of deceptive practices to exploit the global financial system and divert resources to sanctioned entities said Treasury Undersecretary for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence Sigil Mandelker this once again exposes to the international community the dangerous risks of operating in an Iranian economy that is deliberately opaque. Answer Bank Sanctions Evasion Scheme Through IRGC-controlled Answer Bank, the Iranian regime established a layered network of front companies based in Iran, Turkey, 
and the UAE to bypass sanctions, gain access to the international financial system, and exchange devalued Iranian real for dollars and euros. Answer Bank also used international free zones to establish front companies. As part of this scheme, Answer Bank used its Iran-based foreign currency arm, Answer Exchange and its network, to convert Iranian real ultimately to hundreds of millions of dollars and euros to provide this funding to Answer Bank, MODAFL, and the IRGC. Answer Exchange relied upon a network of front companies and agents in Turkey and the UAE in just the last year and a half. Four front companies UAE-based Sakin General Trading, Lebramoon General Trading, and Naria General Trading, as well as Iran-based Tidal Exchange, all designated today, provided the equivalent of approximately $800 million in funds to answer exchange additionally. Turkey-based Atlas Dov is acted as a secondary foreign currency provider for answer exchange. These front companies are witting to Iran's sanctions evasion. For example, as of 2019, Answer Exchange Managing Director Elirza Tabaki worked closely with one central procurement agent, Reza Sakin, to avoid the scrutiny of Emirati authorities regarding Answer Exchange's financial dealings with UAE. Based Sakin General Trading and other identified Answer Exchange intermediaries,